Welcome to the Specialty Products Company installation video for the X-Axis Replacement Kit. Always follow the proper safety precautions associated with all the equipment used in this video. Read the installation instructions thoroughly. Remove SPC upper control arm from vehicle per manufacturer instructions. Clamp SPC arm and shop vise using padding. Using a 1364 inch or 732nd inch drill bit, drill through the rubber isolating material between the outer shell and the inner joint assembly. Drill another hole as close as possible to the first hole. Keep drilling holes this way until the starting hole is reached. At this point, there are two methods for continued removal of the x-axis joint. The first involves gently hammering a sharp tool, such as a gasket scraper, into the circle of holes to cut the remaining rubber. The arm may need to be switched in the vise to cut the remaining rubber from the other side. Remove inner joint assembly from the outer shell once all the rubber has been cut. The second method involves a 1 and 3 quarter inch hole saw. A hole saw with a body long enough to reach through the rubber isolating material is best. Fewer teeth actually function better. Guide the hole saw into the rubber and cut through using a slight rocking motion of the drill. Once the inside joint assembly is removed, cut the outer shell to release the press fit. Using a reciprocating saw or manual hacksaw, cut towards the body of the arm. Once the shell has been cut through, Tap it outwards toward the outside of the arm. Clean and deburr the inside of the retaining rings, making sure no material is left inside the ring. Use a bushing press set or a hydraulic press to press the new isolated x-axis joints into the arms. Make sure the receiving surface has sufficient clearance for either the outer shell or the inner joint to extend into. Some kits require the four rubbing blocks molded into the outer surface of the flange to be oriented in a certain direction. Follow the instructions which are included with each x-axis replacement kit. Make sure the press tools notches engage the rubbing blocks correctly. Gently start pressing the joint into the arm using the supplied press tool. Depending on the x-axis replacement kit part number and the arm part number, the x-axis joint may be pressed in so that the outer shell is flush with the inner surface of the retaining ring or pressed all the way into the ring so the flange contacts the outer surface of the retaining ring. Reinstall the arms and torque fasteners to manufacture and SPC specifications. Current instructions can be found at www.spcalignment.com. Complete the alignment and road test the vehicle. Thank you for watching.